So here's a quick video that I'm going to do to explain how to jumper terminals in a uh, plugin that uh, my son's Westphalia is having problems with a switch, unison switch, and we're going to just check. So typically when you unplug a, uh, a I guess, a, from your switch, you'll see that there's multiple plugs that go onto the back side of a key switch. So key switch typically has these these variety of prongs that that are there on the ends of it and they usually plug in to, in some way and so these the, the 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 male ends of these variety of of terminals plug in to the female side of a receptacle so if you have it you'll probably have multiple wires that come out of the back side of of the of the assembly and so each one of those has something like this in it. So these, if you'll notice it, they 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 uh, they plug in. So you can usually buy them individually, and usually they'll go on the back of a cable. So you'll see a lot of times a cable with a female end. So this is inside of one of these type of of receptacles. So they usually will plug in into the male and usually you'll make a proper contact so they've got to go right in and that's usually the way they connect so if we're having a problem with the switch then the challenge is, is that the, if the wire if the switch moves wire power from here to to this one and then brings so in something like this where you know this is again it's just as an example then you know you're, you're trying to bring power from this side to that side through the switch and the switch side's not working what you can do is you can man manually bypass it by jumpering it so generally you take a wire it's usually as heavy as the wire that you've got but then running below and what you'll do is you'll you'll put it in to the one side and then put it into the other side now don't do this with ac power but if you've got a proper connection, then you're jumpering the circuit straight through to here to there. So in a West Value example, with the pink wire, you would look at the center terminal and jumper it to the black and yellow. Mm -hmm. And then the black and yellow, then you would be able to go and turn on your light switch and see if it would turn, turn on your lights. Now, if that doesn't work, then, you know, you, you've provided power to the switch. The next part is that you probably have a ground problem. So anyway, this is probably the simplest way to just uh, double check. So this is the concept of jumpering terminals that basically are you're running, you're basically trying to go between two prongs like this and run a wire in between. So what you're trying to do is basically bring power between them by basically pulling a wire between them. So what you're doing is you're trying to get into the one side and here another one here and that's what's happening so you're jumpering so the idea of jumpering and then the wires come out of there and you close the circuit so your ignition coil basically closes that circuit typically the like ignition ignition switch if the switch is not working then you can bypass it to double check it by hard wiring it through between the two positive leads so hopefully this is enough of an explanation for you to understand how to hot wire or jumper the positive leads across your ignition switch.